How's it going? So it's been a while since I uploaded. So today I'm just going to be going over some results that I recently have because lately, you know, I've been working on my consulting agency, which is for like info products and e-commerce um, clients. So, so that's why I haven't really been uploading, but now I'm back again. So I'm, I'm planning to make like weekly or bi-weekly videos like this where I just go over like the client campaign, basically my, my results and just go over those results in like videos where I just break it down. I show the ad account, um, I show the ROI and all that stuff and then I put some tips in there as well on like what I did and then you can just pretty much just um, take it from there. So this first video is going to be about a affiliate marketing account. So this one did over 100k in like the first month and you know did more than 10x ROI and um, and yeah this is what it looks like so, so you can see there's more than 800 purchases um, 17,000 spent and it's all in three campaigns so so you can see obviously it's all very concentrated and the cost per result which like our goal for this one was like $20 and you can see it stayed at you know twenty twenty one dollars, which is perfect. Um, and then it's all within three campaigns as well, you know. And because a lot of people when they run ad accounts, they have like a hundred different campaigns, you know, all bring like little results each. But um, you know, if, especially with this one, I wanted to have it. <clears throat> and what I do with all my accounts is, even if I'm spending like a thousand a day or two thousand, I have them all in like one to three campaigns and it's all running through there so there's no like it's not like i can literally click through click through the ad set and just know exactly what's working and what's not working so there's no there's no there's no real confusion and here are some takeaways by the way what i changed because like because this person was already running ads beforehand and um you know came to me and then wanted me to do the ads for him so you know he was already doing ads, he was already making money and all that stuff but the CPA was going too high and it was kind of unstructured as well. So first thing I think it was like the copywriting. So because obviously, so if you're like hitting that wall where you can't, you know, you just can't get past it or, you know, you can't get better results. Um, these are probably the few things you probably have to change. So it's usually like the copy, creatives, um, maybe targeting is a bit too, um, like, you, you know, you have to start expanding. So if you've, if you're only using one audience and you know you've only been running that one audience for a long time you know it becomes time to basically because here he was pretty much only like he was rinsing like two audiences for a long time so it was clear to me like all right he needs way more audiences like i have a whole spreadsheet for what i do for like my counsel my clients i have like a whole spreadsheet like full of audiences so you know, so most people they just do like one or two. I'll have like hundreds just ready to go. So I pretty much test them one at a time, just keep going one at a time, and then you know you just never run out of audiences. You shouldn't. You should always have like you should always have like you know boatloads of them just coming through ready to, ready to be to get tested. You should never. You should pretty much never run out of audiences. It's impossible. And um, so yeah, so copywriting is definitely less. if you're hitting that ceiling. You probably have to start writing a different copy. If you hear that ceiling again, you probably have to start, you know, creatives. You have to start testing new creatives. You should always be testing anyway. But you know, if you've just been running one similar one for a long, you've just been duplicating. Um, then it's time to do this. Like I say, with targeting, if you just had that one amazing audience, and you just keep you kept spending there, um, now it's time to basically, you know, create a spreadsheet of audiences and basically start testing new ones. Because at the end of the day, you know, you need a lot more. Like, let's say your audience has a million people. There's, like, you can only run that for so long before it, like, it runs out. So you can maybe hit, scale it to $1,000 a day. But it's only going to be there for so long before it's, like, you know, before Facebook decides that, um, you know, that's it, this audience is, it's not going to convert anymore. Like, you need new audiences. Like, there's hundreds of millions of people on Facebook. So if you just stick to one, like, one audience, it's going to be hard for you to keep going. And um, lastly, the structure. So 
even if you do have the audience and all that stuff, or maybe you are testing audiences and it's all over the place. Maybe you have like 20 audiences in 20 different campaigns with five random ads and all that stuff. Now it's time for you to pretty much have that structure going. So you need to have like, I recommend, I mean, if you're spending like, um, let's say 10,000, up to 10,000 a day, you can definitely do it in about three campaigns easily so in about three to four campaigns now i only run cbo's by the way so that's um, that's known as campaign budget optimization i only run cbo's i don't run anything else anymore i i used to but now i've stopped so now so i, I recommend the same now with cbo's there's a different kind of structure you have to use because it's a, it's a bit different because um you know you you have to because you know it spreads the budget across all the ad sets so you have to have a certain number of ad sets because there's a few things you have to look at when it comes to CBOs and that is how many people in the audience. So do you have, is there, is there a million people, is there half a million? And then from there, you want to look at all right, what's your target CPA? And then based on those numbers, you can figure out how many ad sets you can have, um, how many ads you have, and then what the daily budget is. Okay, so that's why CBOs are different. and. I might, I might make a video on that soon, just covering how to, how I structure CBOs, because it is different, um, it can't just be random, if you just put random stuff in there, it's probably, gonna, it's not going to work, so, and you know, the most important thing is you have to learn how to do it now, because I think in like two, three months from now, depending on when you watch this, um, CBOs are going to be like the main thing, so there's not going to be no more um, optimization on, I mean, you know how, how it used to be which is you can just change the budget on each ad set so that's going to go away so you're always going to have to do at a campaign level and I actually prefer it it's way better i mean it just saves so much time i mean if you think about it you know you can just have now you only have to change your budget what you don't even have to look at the budgets anymore because so that's the whole variable is taken out now you can just focus on the ad sets whereas before you have to keep looking at the budget you have to change the budget for each ad set, which is just ridiculous. Um, and if you didn't do it, if you kept it the same, then you might as well use the CBO. Um, so it just, it just makes sense. The whole CBO thing makes sense. Um, so yeah, so these are a few things that you want to look at. So if you're hitting that ceiling, you want to look at th these four things. Okay. And like, so here, so when we found the winner, um, you pretty much want to leave it. So we all start, so like I said here, we also started just a few more creatives and we found one winner left it running as the only ad in most of the campaigns unless we were testing. So, you know, after some time, I found a winner. And when you find a winner, that's when you want to start testing combinations. Okay, so you, you want to combine creative with audience. Combine that creative with different copy, copy with different headlines, different texts. So you, you just want to start hitting different combinations. So even if you have a winner, you should always hit, hit those combinations and then account structure like we said the way i like to do is i will have like one lookalike campaign um <clears throat> excuse me one testing campaign and one um retargeting campaign so those are three so once you hit like five thousand a day or more then you can start splitting into different ad accounts that, that's when you want to start opening more ad accounts um when you hit about five thousand a day something like that um, you want to start opening different ad accounts and then have one for each one but until you're at that point um, just have three campaigns if you do more than that you just you're just gonna get confused especially if you're not spending that much so if you're spending like crazy amounts of money like 20 like 20,000 a day then you're not fair enough you, if you make some more campaigns but if you're not then um, you definitely don't need to like I said you definitely do not need to do that um, you know three this is how all my ad accounts look like by the way i'm gonna make more videos like this going over all the ad accounts i have many more to come this is just the first one and they all look like this which is like two three campaigns with like hundreds and hundreds of purchases each um and that's it it's just so simple it's just like 500 purchases whatever twenty thousand dollars spent and here's the roi it's like it's very simple it's not like like I can show you these three, it's, it's like you, I can just show you them. I think I can't go into the ad account itself because it just shows all the information, it shows the ad account name, 
the ad set thing you it basically just exposes the whole client so i can't go into it but that's why i just put a screenshot but anyway if you go on the by the way uh, bef uh before i end this video i'm gonna put a link below so i know some of you might want to learn more about um you know how i get results from my clients and if you want to watch like a case study video going into more detail um then i'm gonna put that in the comment section below and it also the video also explains so the video goes into like a case study of my other client results and then it also explains how you can work with me so the two ways you can work with me and then if you're interested in those, those two ways you can like book a call if you like, like a tiny a small application and then you book a call so if you want to watch that video i'm going to put a link to it below so it's like a case study video you can watch that and um and yeah and if you've got any questions you can leave in the comments i'll get back to you and um yeah so I'll speak soon bye bye